Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to do all the four problems from weekly contest 305. Let's get started to the first problem. First problem is called number of arithmetic triplets. Let's take an example to try to understand what is this problem. Uh, 0, 1, 4, 6, 7, 10. Let's say this is our nums array. And you are given something called difference. In our example, let's say difference is equal to 3. So what you are supposed to do? You are supposed to find if triplets exist in this array. So triplets i, j, k if they exist in this array such that let's take one example let's say the triplets are 1, 4, 7. So 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 and 7 minus 4 is also equal to 3 right. So first of all the triplets should be in order and the difference between uh, the consecutive numbers in the triplets should be equal to this difference. So here we can see that 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 and 7 minus 4 is also equal to 3 that is why this is a valid triplet. So how to solve this problem? So the brute force approach to solve this problem is in order of n cube. You can just write 3 for loops and you can list down all the triplets and you can see which triplets satisfy the condition. The optimization to the brute force approach is you can just write 2 for loops right. What you can do is you can start iterating over all the elements. The first for loop will be for iterating over all the elements right. And when you are iterating over element let's say for example we are iterating over 7. What we can do? You can just go to the left side of 7 and you can check if 7 minus 3 because 3 is difference. So you can check if 7 minus 3 is equal to 4 if 4 exists in the array or not. Similarly you can iterate further on the left and you can check if 7 minus 2 times difference which will be equal to 7 minus 6 which is equal to 1. You can check if 1 exists in the array or not. If these two numbers exist in the array uh, then you can say that a valid triplet is found. So you can just do it in uh, two for loops and the time complexity of this will be order of n square but we can further optimize it right so what we are doing currently now uh, we are iterating over each element first of all and when we are iterating over each element we are going to the left side of of this particular element and we are looking for two elements so when you are looking for two elements why do you need to look for elements you can just store whether these elements exist or not right you can just store them in some data structure like map or you can use a set here because here all elements are unique it is given in the question that all elements are strictly increasing so all of the elements are going to be unique you can even use a set data structure you can just store whether these elements exist or not so what do i mean by that so what you can do you can just convert it to a set right so if you convert it to a set and then if you iterate over let's say you are iterating over 7 so you can just check whether 4 and 1 exist in the set or not if 1 and 4 exist in the set and you have already found a 7 then that's it you have found a valid triplet you can add this to your answer so the time complexity will be reduced to order of n even though you are going to use extra space but the time complexity will be optimized right so that's what we are going to do so this problem is very simple first of all you can just take a set and you can convert the entire nums array to a set okay so that's what i'm going to do i've converted the entire nums vector to a set and i'm calling it s now i can iterate over the nums vector so for int i equal to 0, i less than nums dot size, i plus plus. I can just check, what I can check, this is my current element nums of i, right? I have to check whether this minus difference. So for example, for 7 I am checking if 7 minus 3 which is equal to 4. If 4 exists in the set or not. So I just have to check this. So what I can do, I can just give s dot find this element. If this element, okay. If the uh, what the find function will do it will check whether this element exists or not if this does not equal to the end of the set that means this element exists in the set so if this element exists in the set that means I have found 4 now what I need to look I need to look for uh, the first element of the triplet what will that be that will be 7 minus 2 times difference right so 7 minus 6 that will be 1 so I also have to look for 1 so I, I have to give a and condition so this is the these are the two conditions so this time I instead of difference I can just give minus 2 into difference so I can again give the same condition if these two conditions are satisfied what I can do I can just increase my answer right and I can have an answer variable int answer which is initially equal to 0 whenever I find an answer I can just increment it and finally I can return answer right so let me run and see whether this is working so it's working let's submit and see whether this is going to get accepted it's 